Welcome back to my channel guys, Conscious and Aware. Come on, come on, come on. Now today's video, we're talking about holding yourself accountable, accountability. Now this here is very, very, very important, man. Cause like, once you hold yourself accountable, you regain, re regain back your power, man. And you, your full control over your life. Now, this is one of the hardest things I had to learn, man, on, on my self-development journey self-improvement journey, whatever you want to call it, is very, very difficult because it's like, it's so easy to point the finger at someone else, but when you actually sit there and take responsibility for what you have done and from, for, from the outcome, then boom, you empower yourself. You, see, you get what I'm saying to you? Automatically, you empower yourself and you're in control over your life. Now, to blame others is so easy. It's easy to say, oh, it was his fault. Oh, now it was her fault. Oh, now nah, it's the government. Oh, now nah, it's the weather. Or it's to point fingers. If you notice, if you look around, that's what everyone's doing. They're pointing fingers. They're blaming him. They're saying that. Like, everything but themselves. You understand what I'm saying to you? But what you have to realise is that the only thing that you can control is yourself. What someone else is doing or what someone, else, what, what someone else is supposed to do for you, you can't control that. The only thing you can control is yourself and your reaction. The more you point your fingers at others and that, the less power you have. The more you take accountability for your own actions, for where you are, then you are in control. So that's the main theme of the video. What I want, that's the main point I want to get across. Like Taking accountability is empowering yourself. When you're blaming others, you're giving your powers away. You're basically saying that you could not do anything about it and he or she or it has the power. You see, that's one of the most important things I want to leave you in this video. Like, when you're truly accountable, like, like I said, like, you're in the driver's seat then. You basically took the wheel and you're going to where you need to go. If, if you're not accountable, you're just in the passenger seat. Wherever the car goes, if it crashes, if that happens to you, you have no say in it. You have no control. That's what you're saying. Basically, if you're not holding yourself accountable, you understand what I'm saying? So, accountability is an empowering thing. Once you're accountable and look at yourself and blame yourself, you're basically saying that you are in control. You see? So, like... That, that that's what i'm trying to get out in this video like the, like look at it like this then once you have expectation expectation equals to di disappointment that's the first thing i want to say once you have expectation of something or someone that's 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 the main road to disappointment now why do i say this so imagine now i had expectation of this guy who promised me to do something for me now this guy doesn't come through automatically you are now disappointed in this guy right or you had expectation, oh, I got expectation of, um, let's say maybe your parents are like, uh, I'm trying to give an analogy, like you, you, you're basically expecting something is going to lead to disappointment because one, once that thing doesn't happen, you are now automatically disappointed in it. That's exactly how it works. But if you do not expect something, if you do not expect something to happen and it happens, you're happy. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't matter because you didn't expect it. So expecting is like, in a way, uh, entitlement. You, you can link it to entitlement. You'll feel entitled. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you've done something maybe for someone or you've done something good and you expected the same back. Boom. Now you're disappointed because you didn't get what you expected. So that's one, that, that could be a separate video in itself, expectation. But having expectation definitely leads to, to disappointment. So, like I said before, accountability really empowers you and you take control over yourself and over your life once you're not blaming the government or your friend or your parents or anything else and you actually say you know what it's my fault it's actually my fault i'm in charge i could do better then you're in control it's really that simple but it's something very hard that like over a period of time you're gonna understand it's so easy to say it was his fault or her fault you understand what I'm saying? But once you actually put it all on yourself, then boom, you, you've empowered yourself, you're in control. So that's the main thing that accountability does, man. It, it empowers you and makes you makes you direct your life where you wanna go, uh, where you wanna take it to. So like, it's very, that's, very, that, that's, that's the whole video, don't really, I don't wanna go too deep because it's the same principle. Like once you blame others, you are not in control. Once you actually take responsibility and say it's your fault, you are in control. It's really that simple. Like, it's simple but hard at the same time because it's a process. 
that you have to go through. You know, it's gonna be hard at first, but the more, once you actually, once this actually sinks into your head and you realize that this is the reality of life, then boom, everything around you will change. Like your mindset will change, you'll be much happier because it's all you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying to you? It's all you. It's all your own doing. If you're low, wherever you are physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, wherever you are right now, is your own doing. Now, you can look at that and think it's a negative or you can take that as a positive. Oh, if it's my doing, then I can change it. You see? This is what accountability, uh, this is what accountability teaches you. Oh, if that it was my, if something was your mistake, then you can correct it. If something is not your mistake, then you cannot correct it. So once you take accountability, you're basically saying that it is your own doing. Now you have the power to change it. You can't change something that you don't feel like it was you. If you understand what I'm saying to you. So that, that's what I'll leave you guys with. One, like accountability empowers you. Two, blaming others is not going to change anything. It's going to make it worse and worse for yourself than that. And you, you haven't got control over yourself. And three, once you take accountability, you're in the driver's seat of your life. Whatever you want to take your life to, it's where it's going to go. Because it's your own doing. So that's what I want to leave you guys with, man. Accountability is something that we all lack in. You know, sometimes you might slip in that and you might blame someone else. But that comes back to expectation. Don't have no expectation of no one. Wherever you are, take accountability for it. And take your life and take it to where you want to take it to, man. It's all you, man. It's all down to you. It's all inside of yourself. It's all in your mind. You know what I'm saying to you? So, yeah, that's the video done, man. Just a quick one about accountability. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to comment down below. And definitely subscribe, man. Daily videos coming, man. Come on, come on, come on.